is my knitting and spinning podcast. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, if you're a new viewer, welcome, which you probably are because this will be the second thing I'm posting. Um, yeah, so today I thought I'd just do a special little uh, episode. It's not a full podcast, but it is about Fibershare. So Fibershare is an online uh, community who enables you to send a parcel to someone else and then to receive a parcel from someone. So you can do that either as a domestic parcel or an international one. Um, so I've done two fiber shares so far. Um, this is my second one and uh, I have done it internationally both times. Um, it happens twice a year, so I did one at the beginning of this year and around February and uh, now I'm sending my parcel in September and I think sign ups are around July. Um, yeah, so I am sending my parcel to a lady in America named Laurie and then I think I'm receiving one from um, Canada? or the US, I'm not sure, um, from Shana. Um, I'm really excited. I think it's going to arrive uh, like today or tomorrow. So mm. um, I am really late in sending my parcel to Laurie and I'm so sorry. Um, I have been a little bit busy. I really don't have a good excuse though. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Fibershare is really cool. You can find uh, the signups and all the other information you need to know at fibershare.org and I'll put a link up. Um, all right, I always like to include in my parcel a little letter um, that has all of the different things that I've included and why they are a bit special. Um, so and now is the time to do a disclaimer for Laurie. Laurie, if you are watching, please stop watching because this is your entire parcel about to be shown to everybody. Um, yeah, okay. So I thought I'd share the parcel because I really love making them. I always learn something new when I make them um, and I like to pretty much make everything that goes into the parcel. Um, I really like receiving things that other people have made as well, um, but I know that a lot of people use it as an excuse to kind of like send uh, those very popular yarns around the world um, and to each other and like share a little bit of their stash. Um, okay, so I'll just get into it. The first thing that I did was a eucalyptus um, merino roving. So it's 18.5 uh, micron merino, which is pretty soft. Um, and I had never dyed a roving braid before. It was a bit of an experiment and hit and miss with using the um, natural dyes. But what I've ended up with is kind of like a camel colored base and then I've steam printed, oops, <laughs> steam printed um, these little orange bits all around. So the f I was I was actually a little disappointed when I um, ended up with the just the plain camel color all over. I was like, oh, it's a bit boring. Um, but then when I figured out that I could steam print, and it actually went bright orange. I was so excited. <laughs> um, so I've never never been able to find the leaves that do this orange eucalyptus colour before and now I, I know kind of where they are in the um, in the forest nearby. So that's really exciting. I can do some more orange eucalyptus leaf prints. Um, yeah so that's the first one and then I have a uh, quite a love for alpacas. Um, any chance I get, I go to alpaca farms and buy fleece. Um, I probably have already, like I have not bought that much, but I probably have too much already in my stash. Um, okay, so the first one is a little um, 50 gram braid of 
uh, Suri alpaca. So these are the alpacas. I'll probably put a picture up. They've got the long curly locks hanging off of them and they look quite funny. Um, yeah, but their fleece is, it's like silky and luxurious and just beautiful. Um, alpacas also have like such a wide color range. So I've also included, I had this, um, just this like little tuft uh, from a alpaca info day thing that I went to. Um, and I thought it would be nice to like include this as a contrast because alpacas have such an amazing color range. Um, and the next, next one I'll show you is kind of an example of that, some little puffy clouds. Um, now this is Wakaya alpaca, I think that's how you say it. It is spelt with a H but pronounced kind of like a W. Um, and this one was from an alpaca named Blue Moon. He lives out at Ipswich somewhere. Um, and I bought his uh, pretty much a whole fleece, I think, at the Eka, um, which is the Brisbane show, if you do not know. Um, yeah, and he is actually a grey alpaca, but he had every colour of the alpaca rainbow. Um, so he was predominantly grey, and that's like dark grey, light grey. He had some white, um, this lovely chocolatey brown, uh, and it all, it has some of the flecks of grey in it as well. Um, and uh, like a fawn, dark fawn colour, um, and then some like parts that were kind of grey and fawn mixed evenly together. Um, so it was really interesting. And I used part of that to make um, the mittens that I talked about in the first podcast. Yeah, so this is an, another little bit of Blue Moon. You're probably sick of hearing about Blue Moon now. Uh, so that's all of the fibre portion. Some merino and some variations of alpaca fibre. Uh, more eucalyptus bits. I've got some little mini skeins. So these are um, different eucalyptus leaves. I was doing some testing a while ago to see exactly what colours I could get out of different species of eucalyptus. So I actually took really good notes, identified trees. I have since got a bit lax on that um, and just been like going on a walk, picking up random leaves. Um, but eucalyptus is really, really versatile and you can make other colors. So say I get this, um, what's the clearest one? Say I get this colour yellow out of a like alum mordanted uh, pot, I could add, I think this one might have been added copper as a mordant and it like completely changes. Um, if I was to put these in iron, they would most likely go green. Um, I had some bark as well that was pink. Um, and when you mordant it with iron, it goes this beautiful grey colour. So it's really exciting, it's a bit magic um, to experiment with natural dyes. Um, and I also really like gathering things from around my house. Um, you'll probably hear a lot about that as time goes by, um, different things that I've grown or gathered and used. Um, but on a completely kind of different tangent, I can't resist speckled yarns, so I've decided that um, I would get some acid dyes and give it a go. Um, I kind of, I was very reluctant, but I, I did some research and um, because with acid dyes the um, dye bath gets exhausted, so all of the dye gets absorbed by the yarn and then it, it's bonded to the yarn and isn't going anywhere. Um, so from a, an environmental standpoint, it's actually like okay-ish. Anyway, 
my very, very first skein. I'm so happy with it and excited about it. Um, oh, so I got some landscape acid dyes. You'll hear about that in the, you would have heard about that in the first podcast. Um, look, it's so pretty. So um, this was the landscape acid dyes uh, coastal color range. Um, I haven't named this as like uh, people have colorway names. I, it reminds me of moss and like the beach as well, but that's probably just because it's the coastal colors. Um, yeah, oh, it was so much fun to dye and I'm kind of sad that I'm giving this away, but I did make it with that intention. Um, and I've made good notes, so if I want to have this again, I could probably make it again. Um, it's so pretty and I'm like really proud to be sending this to Laurie. Um, I, so you, you'll definitely see a lot more uh, of my hand dyeing as I go on. Um, buying sock yarn is kind of expensive and uh, as much as I can I want to also support other um, makers but at the same time if I can enjoy something doubly by making it then I'm gonna do that. Uh, yeah so this one is a, a four ply merino, no nylon so it's not technically a sock yarn um, so maybe Laura you could put this in a shawl or something. Um, it's so, <laughs> I'm so happy with it. Oh, there we go. Um, okay so that is the end of the uh, like fibery completeness. Now I've just got uh, little, little gifts. <laughs> um, the first one is a project bag. So I made one of these for myself, um, a little avocado dyed project bag, but this one that I'm about to show you is so much nicer <laughs> than the first one that I made. Um, it has a few improvements. This is it, um, and I've got a little alpaca brooch that I laser cut. Um, so I kind of, I kind of traced his outline from a picture, but then I drew his little um, blanket that he's got on the back. Um, I really love this one and his cute little cheeks. Um, okay, so this is um, made out of cotton with cotton string and that is uh, like one of the improvements that I made from mine um, and then it's got these beautiful uh, gum I think it's a spotted gum beads we found this really nice uh, log when we went to the forest and so I asked my husband to make me some beads to put on these project bags um, he also made me some out of um, Banksia pods, but he said they're very hard to do and so I've got those on my bag because I really love the the little patterns inside the Banksia pod. Um, <clears throat> but these ones, he said, were a lot easier, so... And they really, like, I'll have to put up a photograph, but the patterns in the beads match so well. Um, yeah. Laura said she liked my Avo bag, so I thought, I'll make her one. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's the perfect size for just like uh, one ball. And then you're like, I've got a little metal tin that I keep all my notions in, um, but like a little notions pouch would fit in there as well. Okay. Another laser cut thingy, <laughs> thingy. Um, just a little round weaving loom. This was really easy to draw up um, and little needles as well. They're so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, um, it's really good to have uh, somewhere that I can go and laser cut in Brisbane. 
Um, the Edge is a creative space and you just go and do an induction and then they will let you um, use the laser cut on. Yeah. Oh, also, Lori hadn't, um, I don't think she's tried weaving before, so it's like, oh, here you go, try something new. Um, and she does do quilting and makes project bags, so I thought I will send her some fabric. Um, these are eco-printed, sorry, I arranged them, <laughs> uh, eco-printed cotton, and it is quilting cotton. Um, it's kind of the cheapest form of calico, I think, at Spotlight. <laughs> so uh, that's what I bought. I bought a whole heap of it ages ago. Um, Alright, I'll tell you. I'll un undo them all. So this one is... Um, Queensland wattle. It's got a really nice round little leaf and a little puff ball wattle. Um, I thought that I might get a like uh, a clearer leaf print um, because you know that's what online you see all the eco prints are like really really clear um, but I just didn't couldn't I don't know if I was using dried leaves or fresh leaves if it mattered or I don't know experiments I think it's still beautiful um, I love the colors pastel me <laughs> so that's that one Mr. Wattle uh, this one is a bit more like rusty orangish colors um, and then it's got little like I think there was a twig in there and then the last one I did with some bark which was a bit difficult to like um with the wrapping it up it was like <laughs> all clunky and all over the place um yeah sorry <laughs> Um, and then I, I, to make it a little bit more interesting, I had some, um, sorry, I had some, uh, lichen dye that I'd extracted, so I just put a few little dots here and there, and it's got this very light purple, um, in a few patches, so... Yeah, there's some like really strange, interesting patterns that get made onto the fabric. Um, but I'll definitely have to like keep doing a few more um, eco prints until I can finally master the clear leaf print. And that's one of the reasons I was so excited to find the really orange uh, eucalyptus leaves because I think that that's the trick. You've got to get the right, right type of leaf. All right, another laser cut thingy. <laughs> some cute little sheep earrings um, so this is another one I just like found a picture and traced the little outline um, and then I hand painted the little bods hmm. so I don't know if uh, Laurie you could use these as earrings or just as little pins on a bag as well and some washi tape I love washi tape I am a bit of a planner uh, person, so I went to like a planner market thing recently and I bought so much washi, <laughs> it was kind of bad actually. Um, but yeah, uh, Laurie really likes autumn colours, so I thought I'd get her these little autumn-y washies. One's got dots, one's got dashes, and then a little leaf. They're really cute. Okay, so... Uh, Last little bits and pieces, some T2 tea. T2 is amazing. Um, they're so, they just have so many flavors and I don't think you could ever, ever try them all. Um, but Melbourne Breakfast is my absolute favorite. 
Um, I usually have it with chai um, that I make myself just out of like spices from the Indian store. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, it's so good. And uh, then I also included a little green tea in case Laurie is, uh, prefers green tea. Um, I don't think I've tried this one, but I know I tried recently Marrakesh, which is green tea with peppermint, and it was really yummy. Um, I'm usually very picky about green tea, um, so yeah, that was good. Um, okay, last thing, uh, a little pencil. I like to ham up the fact that they're getting a parcel from Australia and like include <laughs> as much um, Australian stuff as I can. So like, hence the eucalyptus, apart from the fact that they are so abundant and like have a great color range i'm like mm, australia um <laughs> might uh yeah so a little pencil i thought laura could use it to like mark off um knitting patterns where she's up to so pencils are always handy anyway yeah so that is the fiber share parcel that i'm sending to laurie i'm sorry if this video is actually getting a bit long hey guys so it's a few days later and my fiber share parcel has arrived. I'm so excited. I haven't like opened it uh, yet. I've like there was a wrapping on the outside and I undid the sticky tape, but I have not peeked. Um, I'm really excited that I get to share this with you. Let's just get into it. All right. So there's a big thing on the top here. I feel like I should be showing you inside. It looks amazing. I'll just show you layer by layer. Some lollies or candy. And this wonderful thing. I don't know what it is. I love this so much. It's just like Christmas. I think it's, well, it's fabric of some description. So Shana also naturally dyes stuff, which is really cool. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, it's a card. And this lovely little handkerchiefy thing. That's so nice. Flowy. <laughs> Alright. Um card. I'll show you that outside. Oh gosh. It's a little, little girl knitting herself a jumper. Oh, and a bunny! <laughs> a knitted bunny! Oh wow, there's like quite a big message in there. I'm gonna read that later. Cool. Okay, I'll get into this one first. Oh, I'm wrapping. Cool, so you can't see my top of my head, but that's okay because you can see the parcel. Alright. I don't know I'm being careful, but kind of not careful. Tissue paper! Oh my gosh. Yum. Llama! What? Sincere Sheep Terra Fiber Series made in Napa Valley. I'll look up where that is. Oh, okay, cool. So this one is CVM, what's that more? Um, wool, 90%, and llama, 10%. I'm so excited to try that. And Cormo, which I have not tried either. Oh, yum! Okay, what's next? Let's explore the llama bag. Um, oh, I just forgot that you're down here, not up here. Oh, yum. Waffy taffy. <laughs> and some chocolates. And, um, what are they called again? Jelly bellies. Jelly bellies beans. Flesh. Oh. Uh, like, there are so many little packages in here. I cannot even deal. Wow. I'm totally individually wrapping my parcel next time. I like 
did it this time in clear stuff, but this is so much more exciting. A moon melt lotion bar. Lavender. I love lavender. Oh, cool. Oh, Mountain Rose Herbs. I've looked at their website before. Is this from there? Moon Valley. Okay, no, not from there. Oh, nice. That's cool. Um, these are little lip tags. So, oh, that paper feels so nice. <laughs> oh my. Um, so they say whip. Oh, they're for hand spun. Method plies length, weight, date. It says hand spun with love. Oh, okay. So this is for like, um, putting on your hands one after you've finished it. Not necessarily for like a record for yourself, maybe like if you're giving it away. Cool. But you could just use them for a record for yourself. That's so nice. Oh. And by the way, this whole package just smells so lovely and I think it might be because of the lotion balm. Yeah, that's definitely it. Oh, I want to open this up. This is so cool. Oh, wow. Guys. It comes... It comes in a little tin. I think I have a thing for tins. I love tins. Oh, I think it got a little melty on its way. <laughs> it did. It went through um, Japan somehow, and then like the shipping thing was really weird. I thought it like went back to America and then came here as well. That is so good. And I don't know if you can see, they've actually imprinted their logo into the um, lotion as well. Oh, I'm so spoiled! Okay. <clears throat> I just realized there might be something in the card that's important. If there is later, I'll let you know. Okay. Tearing into it. <laughs> Ooh, bubble wrap. What? Ooh, this is a spindle. Oh my gosh. Shana, you're amazing. Holy moly. This, guys, is a Turkish spindle. I don't know which way it goes, but oh yeah, here we go. So that goes together, and then maybe this way? No, maybe the other way. Yeah, that seems right. Ah! So cool! Wow! Uh, definitely gonna spin something from this parcel on this spindle. It's so fun! <laughs> Pinku! Oh my gosh! And that's from Turtle Maid. 3D printed. Oh, that's awesome. So cool. I can't wait to take photographs of all of this as well. Okay, a little boxy one. Oh yes! Oh cool! So this is why the um, Mountain Rose herb sticker was in there because chai tea! Oh, I love chai. I didn't even think I put in my um, little thing that I liked chai but there you go. Mind read. 
Look at all that chai. Delish. <sighs> And it comes with this really cool sticker as well. Man, wish I lived in America. <laughs> uh, this is squishy. Oh my goodness. Maybe I won't do the knitting. I was thinking about doing the knitting. Um, Fabi share next time so that I could get some like you know sock yarn or something. But five is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is this? It's uh Lester Longwell and Romney Lamb. Wow. Hand dyed spring. Oh cute. Cute 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 cute. So cute. So this is by, sorry, crinkle, crinkle, um, Fox Run Fiber. And we've got a cute little foxy logo there. And their business cards in here as well. Mm. Lovely. we not misplaced that. Ooh, wow. Guys, it's not soft. Is that what they call sheepy? When something's not like super soft. I love these colors though. Uh, I wonder if I can make socks with this. It may, I'll have to look up the um, kinds of wool. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> not soft, but it's so nice. Wow, such cute little, um, little braid as well. Cool. Oh man, guys, you should see this pile next to me. It's just, it looks such a mess, but, oh, amazing. Okay, more squish. Bakaya. <laughs> Some alpaca. Um, Genta Pull, Dark Brown, SNS Camelid Co. That is a really cool, like, farm name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a feel this one too. Ooh. It's a. Uh, what is this called again? Oh, whatever. I don't know. Mmm. What? Oh, nice. So alpaca. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> it's like sniffing into it. Um, I can't even describe how that smells. It's not, it's kind of farmy, but... Yeah, just slightly farmy. Like, hey. Wow, I don't think I've ever gotten like a, what well, is roving, but it looks like a bat. Oh, that is going to be so fun to spin because it's already like quite thin. Oh, that's nice. Very cool. All right, last one. This is it. Then that's the end. I think, yeah. Last one. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> that's really cool because now I can, yeah, same color even. Now I can um, spin one bob bobbin of each and then just pile them together. Or I can use them for some different projects, but that's like a huge quantity. That's really good. Wow, four ounces. I don't even know what that is. I think that's like, that's a lot. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of fiber. Thank you so much, Shana. So cool. I can't believe it. 
Oh man. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to try the Shin Sin <laughs> Sincere Sheeb. And I just absolutely adore the colors of this. And this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna quickly read the card and then if that says anything that I can share, I'll share that. Okay, so I just read through the card and um, I couldn't, <laughs> this is actually the second time I'm recording this little bit because I couldn't help to like, I just left the camera rolling and I couldn't help to like say things as I read them. Um, so I'll just, because I forgot that the camera was pointed lower um, away from my face. So I'll just um, do that bit again. So she, Shana said that she got the um, Wakaya Alpaca at the Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Festival. So that's really cool. I really like knowing where stuff comes from and like wh where people run across it. Um, across it. That was a weird vocalization. Um, cool. So what was the next thing? Oh yeah. So she, um, she said that she took a trip over the summer. Um, and that's where she ran across the Mountain Rose herbs, tea and lotion bar. So that's pretty nice. Little summer souvenirs. Um, and the other thing was that, um, I must have mentioned in chatting or in my application that I um, do watercolors sometimes um, and she said that she uses um, liquid dyes, uh, liquid fabric dyes um, and some concentrated natural dyes to paint fabric, pardon me. Um, so that's something that I've been trying to do um, is like make my own concentrated natural dyes because if you get them really concentrated then you can do a bit more with them um, and they're very bright so I'll have to ask her uh, what kind of things she's been experimenting with and see if I can um, get some ideas to improve what I've been doing or maybe share with her something anyway I am so like overwhelmed with this parcel and so happy Guys, I hope that this makes you want to do fiber share. Just join in. It's so much fun. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say in this video. Um, I hope it's not too long. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like me and my channel, please subscribe so that you can know when I update. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about all this fibery stuff and knitting and spinning and getting to know some people. Um, yeah, have a fun week and I'll see you in the next episode.